Hello and welcome to our review of the administrative dashboard for broadcast. What we'll do is we'll have a higher level overview and some of our other tutorials will get into all of the particular details of different functionalities. So let's get started. The first thing you might notice on the broadcast dashboard is the queue of emails that are either sitting in draft mode or they're already scheduled for sending. For us, we have a email that is scheduled for November 25th and it's a members update which will go out to 11 recipients. What you can also do from here as an administrator is choose then to modify that broadcast before it goes out, copy it, or just outright remove it. What you will also see is the recent broadcast pane. This will show you the most recent broadcasts which have gone out along with their subject, how many recipients received it, what the open rate looks like, and how many bounces were recorded. And what you can do as an administrator is gain a little bit more insight into the performance of an email by opening up its summary. Here I'm going to open up the summary for fall and its colors email. And we can see here that this was sent out on November 3rd. And we can also see all of the recipients that have received it, along with a summary of how people voted to our poll. Now, because this was a test on our development server, there is no data that has been collected for those votes, but this is where you would get a little bit of breakdown of how people have voted. We can also see that the recipients, there's a full list in here, so you can review these as, as you wish. And what you can also do is gain a little bit of insight into when somebody unsubscribed from one of your lists. So in here is an unsubscribe column that sort of pinpoints right in time where somebody chose to leave your list. The leads would contain any links embedded within your email blast and how many people had actually clicked on that link. So if you want to be able to report to a partner or a sponsor with the number of clicks from a certain mailing, you would be able to get that information from within here. Same along with the bounces. Here you can see who bounced, what the reason for bouncing was. And as the administrator, the last thing you can do in here is also send yourself a copy of that broadcast, even if it's already been sent out. Coming back to the dashboard, we can also see that there's a most recent open rate chart, which shows you a bit of a trend of how your emails are being opened and what your engagement looks like. This is what I would say is a more idyllic scenario where we had a pretty decent open rate and the open rate then has increased over time. But again, these don't have to keep going up and up and up. Just realize that anything of about 20 to 30% is a pretty decent open rate. Your audience lists will show you all of the lists that you have available to you. And audience lists are just meant to enable you to send with much more simplicity to a certain destination without having to go through the process of identifying those people out of your database. Meaning I can create a list of all of my valid members and then I leave it up to the system to maintain that list for me. So I never have to touch it again. I just leave it as is and knowing that my list is always up to date. Now, what I can do is view all of my recipients as well as the administrator. And then what I can do with that data is export it if I need to for whatever reason. And I can also ask the system to update it at this time. So let's say I know, you know, we're in the, we're in the middle of renewal season and I may want to send out an email right away. The system will automatically overnight update your list, but you can always force that re list refresh to happen right away. And what you can also do is send a broadcast from here to uh, an audience list as well. What you will also see on the dashboard is the most recent poll interaction. And there is a poll that was attached and called, do you like winter? And the system says, hey, I've got a little bit of data here to show you. So it's showing us the fact that there was a 50-50 breakdown of how people voted to that poll. And with the last thing that we get is a little bit of a average as well. And the overall time to open shows us how long it takes people to open up an email from us. So if the majority of people open up that email within an hour, then we know sending an email closer to the end of the day is still going to give us a pretty decent open rate. However, if I notice that it takes between six and 24 hours for our emails to be open. 
I may want to shoot off my email in the morning knowing that there's enough time for people to be able to then consume the content that I had sent to them. And that is it for our review of the administrative dashboard. And feel free to consume a few more of the other training videos related to broadcast. Thanks for watching.